Hello everyone. Oh, it's really blurry. Okay, that's better. Ta-da! I have a new bed set and it matches my curtains. I got new curtains as well. It's really, really nice. It's really dark chocolate brown. Um, please excuse my craft table. <laughs> Okay, and now what I really wanted to show you before I wanted to show off my chocolate brown new bed covers, I wanted to show you some other chokers that I've made. This one's really pretty. It reminds me of mermaids and angels and things. Beautiful, iridescent and silky, multicolored hem of lace with a tie at the back. Oh, it's got lots of... With a tie you can make a bow at the back of your neck. It's... It takes me about half an hour to make each one. They're actually quite intricate, but I'm sure I could get much better. This was actually my first batch, my first go at making chokers. So I ended up making quite a few in one single, well, night really. I was up quite late because I got really excited about doing this. Then there's a black and white one. Oops. Everything's going everywhere. There we go. <laughs> black and white. Kind of reminds me of a maid. I love black and white though. It's gorgeous. I don't care if it's made you know, a maid look. It's nice. It's pretty, it's classic. Pink and cream with sparkly velvet. Yellow and white which reminds me of lemon cake. You know, if it looks delicious I'll make it pretty much. <laughs> just for fun. I don't do this for money. I do this because I just enjoy it. I just want to see what I can do. Um, this was some kind of patch. My mother used to patch holes in jeans and, and clothes. If it got a hole she would just put a patch on it when we were kids. Um, which is a very old-fashioned thing to do. I took one of the patches and I made this. <laughs> and what else? This one. Golden. And, and you may be wondering why I have these rings. Well, I've got all kinds of things that I can attach to these rings. Like you wear this, and then if you wanted to, I don't know, cosplay or, or attach any kind of charm and I have so many charms, and I have so many polymer clay charms that I make myself. You can put crystal, you can like attach a little crisp with a lobster clasp or something. Um, lobster clasp, <laughs> did I say that correctly? Los lobster cl well okay this is a really big tongue tie for me apparently. God. Okay. <laughs> you get the idea. <laughs> you can attach pretty jewels to it. And, um, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun, um, with these, uh, D-ring ties here, I'll put a white lace ribbon round the back, and then I'll do it up. This is hard to do with one hand, but, oh, there we go, and then... Oh my gosh. Quel mess. You can tell this is a spontaneous me video, can't you? And then you kind of, you, you do a pretty bow that hangs down the back of your neck. And then there you go, gorgeous. And